What's up, Panther Nation? We're back today with another video of Key Pounding. Today's topic is day six of free agency. If you would, please do me a favor and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that bell so you don't miss any new content and select all. Leave a comment down below if you feel so inclined and please do share this YouTube channel. Let's get into it. Uh, so we signed Tahir Whitehead, the offensive linebacker, formerly with the Oakland Raiders. Uh, and he served 2012 to 2017 with the Detroit Lions. Uh, he only missed one start with the Lions, and that was in 2016. But uh, ever since 2016, he amassed uh, over 100 tackles combined. And uh, 99 tackles in 16, 78 and 17, 89 and 18, and 79 in 2019. Uh, so his career numbers are... As follows, 125 games, 632 combined tackles, 462 total tackles, 170 assisted, assisted tackles, uh, three sacks. He had two of those sacks in 2015, uh, 24 total passes defended, uh, five interceptions, um... And uh, he's from Newark, New Jersey. Ninth season in the league. He went to college at Temple. Uh, strong chance that he was coached by Matt Rule, but, you know, I have no idea exactly which years uh, Matt Rule was actually there at Temple offhand. But... There is a strong chance. He's 29 years old, 6'1", 241 pounds. Um, yeah. So, I like it. I, I like that pick. He's healthy. He's consistent. He's uh, strong. And he's a good fit for us. A linebacker. Now, uh, some people were asking about Cam Phillips, the wide receiver from the XFL. Uh, so far in the XFL, we're looking at 31 receptions, 9 touchdowns, 455 yards, and 70.2 average. Um, he's averaging at least a touchdown a game. He had three on the February 22nd and three on the 16th. Two touchdowns on the 7th of uh, this month. So that's really interesting. Uh, six foot even, 201 pounds uh, for the Houston Roughnecks. So that's for the people that are interested in him. Uh... As far as should we sign him, I'm going to say yes, based on what I've seen of his tape. I spent about five or six minutes looking at his tape there to see, you know, how he handles deep balls, how he catches, and all that. And I like what I saw, and I think we can get him for cheap, you know. Uh, we did sign PJ Walker, and... If you don't know who he is or are not familiar with him, I actually did a video on him, which should be uh, further on down the list. So, go look for that. I did. I put that video out about, what, two, three weeks ago? But it should be there uh, for anyone that's interested in him. That being said, we come to the main topic of today's conversation, 
which is Kyle Allen. We traded Kyle Allen to the Redskins for a fifth round pick. That brings our quarterback crew to Cam Newton, P.J. Walker, Teddy Bridgewater, and Will Greer. Who's staying? Who's going? We'll find out. Uh, many of you probably don't know, but I have a Twitter account. And uh, it's listed in the description, but uh, I made a strong push uh, on Twitter to our Panthers management for Joe Webb and Ryan Khalil. And also, uh, there was news of the Patriots kicker, Goskowski, getting uh, cut by the Patriots. So... It caught my attention. And uh, we have Joey Sly. We have uh, Graham Gano right now. A lot of people are against it. Against going after uh, Goskowski. So I'm going to say after a little bit of consideration that we should not go after him. He's going to be expensive. We'd have to cut both kickers. Um, and I just think now it won't be worth uh, the money that we end up spending from uh, cutting those two kickers to signing Gostkowski. We'd be losing a lot of a lot of money there. So I ran the numbers after checking into it. And I know I posted on uh one one of the fan pages about it. But uh I have since changed my mind. So that being said, that is the news for day six. We still have a lot going on. And free agency hold on to your hats folks we're just getting started you know free agency has been a three ring circus for us so we'll see what happens next that being said have a great day stay safe stay healthy and keep pounding